Everybody, it's Escape to Reality with Justine and Geneva. Hello, Bravo Breakdown, baby, we're here. Oh yeah! Um, oh my God! We're talking a week in Bravo. So we got Atlanta wedding. We got some summer house. We got a little Vanderpump. Another dog filled episode of Beverly Hills and New York, where they steal. I got a, a couple lobster. things about Beverly Hills, but I'm zoning out, so Me I too. I couldn't even tell you. I honestly, I fast forwarded through 90% of the episode, so we'll brush over that. Um, but we're here as always. We appreciate everybody listening, checking us out. Um, we're doing Bravo. It was, it was a good week. I think I'm excited just to see New York kind of continue. I just love those ladies. There's just, they're so entertaining. I oh, it never was, gets old. It was, beyond, it was the best. <laughs> the stuffing the lobsters like i just i can't deal with like the low class vibe of like, like taking food to go after being there for 30 minutes like killed me 30 killed me. minutes it was rude no how if you stay there for so six rude. hours it but was, 30 minutes i know it was like it honestly like i felt like maybe they were like high or something it was like <laughs> they was, did seem <laughs> out of it it would be like something that people that were like baked would do like roll in awkwardly like sit in the corner for 30 minutes and then take their lobster and run like I don't know. So These weird. bright red lobsters that look like. Oh, it looks beautiful. Oh, my uh, God. And then, well, yeah, it's not like pulled pork. Like you're right. taking lobsters. God, it was good. Um, Jesus. Cr- it was crazy. It was good. Anyways, in, as always. Like a, in one of those 10 cent bags you got to buy now at the grocery store. Right. Do they charge you for grocery bags in Florida? Oh, uh, no. People still fucking carrying out plastic like assholes left and right. I bring reusable <laughs> I buy- bags because I care about the world. <laughs> I but buy. T- people I, I do use them for dog poop and stuff, but you pay ten cents here in California. You get a nice bag. It's not a flimsy bag anymore. Right. I got a hundred reusable bags I never bring because I'm white trash. So but you know I, they are work. They work good. The key is you have to put the bag in you have to leave bags in your car more than you use because that's the key it's yeah, like i'm always yeah. like god damn i, I need to them. shove so, them in my bra to bring them i mean it's like i get in the store i'm like oh i forgot you know i'm just yeah an idiot. so i started putting them all in my um car and then i just grab them because like the issue was i would always leave them at home and then i'd be like oh god they're like so i started doing that and it works better yeah that's my advice i don't know where the money goes but (laughs) right all right all right Um, so here we go before we dive in a little slub gossip what do we got so uh cardi b and j-lo will be sharing the screen together soon in a movie called hustlers it's a true story of group of manhattan strippers and wall street clients that they entertain and scam the Robin Hood style story of a group of women who stole from the wealthy in the wake of the financial crisis was first uh, is told in the New York Magazine article, The Hustlers at Scores. I'm fully Ooh, in. that sounds so exciting. I am fully in. I think Cardi B could act. I don't know oh, why, but I 100%. feel like she's going to be good. I, I think like... she'll be winning Oscars. Uh, yeah, she's going to be, gonna be a freaking Gaga. EGOT. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. All right. Um, I got chills even thinking about this. All right. Are okay. you going to go see us? Uh, we're, Jordan I'm going, Peele's to, I'm new going movie? to see it tomorrow. So You're going to go see back. it in a movie theater? I know. I'm you afraid. have balls of steel. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm frightened. But I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going. Oh, so my God. Back. I want you to tell me everything. I will. I'll report back. I'm How afraid. How are you going to do this? Well, I so, can't get through the commercial of it. <laughs> so my method when I'm... Um, Watching scary movies that makes me feel better is I plug my ears. And for some reason, if I don't hear the sound, I'm less afraid. So I'll probably oh spend God. most of the movie with my ears plugged, but that's what I'm going to do. Okay. It just, I'll report I back. can't imagine watching this in a the movie theater. <laughs> I know. It's that scares crazy. me. I do like, there's something about um his movies that really intrigue me. So I feel like I have to see it. Oh, the I have to so. see it, but I need your review first. I okay. told Tyler, I'm like, Oh, there's Jordan Peele's new movie. I go, I got to hear what Geneva says first before we can go see it because yep. holy crap, it looks back. intense. I'll give you my review next week. Um, it looks insane. It does. I'm excited. to. So I've heard that there's some link potentially to um, get out. And so I will report back if that's the case. So we'll see how it goes. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, but I do have to plug 
I know we only usually talk about trash reality TV, but uh-huh. I think I've told you to watch Queer Eye before. Oh, but the I new love season, those guys. Oh, my God. The new season is on Netflix. I watched it all last week. Is it brand new? So yeah. is it like the second season of the new guys? I think it's the third season. Oh, actually. OK. Um, and it's God, so s- lovable and sweet. Oh, if you ever just want to have your faith in humanity restored, watch it. It's so good. The third season was so sweet. They have some good, good people that they kind of help out. And just it's very I will watch. It's I heard them positive. on Andy Cohen and I heard one of the guys on Watch What Happens Live with Sonia, I think, and mm-hmm. Sonia and. They are just so sweet. They are. The and I watched Carson Kressley's TV show in and out one the other day. And he, I just love him so much. Yeah, I it's very good. So if you're looking for anything sweet, check it out. All right. So Wendy Williams, I have been a loyal watcher for a long, 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 long time. And I can't get past this whole situation. Mm-hmm. So did you see the pictures? Of her husband with the mistress. No, there's new photos? Yes. Oh, let me look this shit up. Dailymail.com. She's in a pink bikini. I don't think she's having a baby. That was all bullshit. But they're blatant. Supposedly, he brought her to see Wendy in rehab, too. What? With him. That's the word on the street. Yeah. And so supposedly, he owns... Like half of her show or he's very heavily involved and he owns some of her show. She can't get rid of him, even though I don't think she wants to. But she and I guess he's with the girl. She's paying for this girl's whole life. Mm, that's crazy. What oh, is wrong the, with Wendy? I can't I can't be on board with her anymore. You, Wendy, it's over with. I'm done with it. I can't deal with this anymore. Oh, yeah. God, you said you're in jail. I mean, you're in um, you're in recovery for whatever. But. The real recovery is going to start with getting this scumbag out of your life. So true. So true. Man, look at him just out on vacation Blatant. with this chick. Blatantly. And on Wendy's dime for all the crap she's selling it. Yeah. Um, not QVC, but the other one. It seems like what I don't like about it is it's starting to feel like really controlling and bizarre. Yes. You know? Like he's driving her to a sober living in a Bentley truck and then leaving her. Like it's just it's, it feels fucked up. I don't like it. It's really, it's like really sad. And Wendy's on TV saying she drops all her girlfriends when she gets a boyfriend. She's like, yeah, I'm that girl. And she's saying that she, um, she holds up her ring and says that they're together till the end. And then the pictures like this where he's just, I mean, I don't care if she's pregnant or not. He's on vacation smiling. And how can you handle that? Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's sad. I agree with you. It's, it's just crediting her, her whole vibe to me. Me too. Yeah. I usually watch all her hot topics. I haven't watched all week because it, I can't get past it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel you. Isn't that insane? I mean, some people, you know, there's a lot of people who just like live in these destructive relationships for no reason. I don't get it. But if for somebody it's like I can get it from the Kardashians, Chloe Kardashian, whatever. She's not on TV telling, acting like she's some strong, broad. She kind of is, like, though. <laughs> right, but, but Wendy is like gives off this vibe that she's. Right. And I think he's involved with like the parents. He doesn't let the parents. And then they have a son who's in college who I wonder how he feels about this whole situation. Mm, it's rough. It's a rough situation. It's, it's crazy. not helping her vibe. Yeah. What else you got? Oh, I I had printed out the whole 90 Day Fiancé cast. So 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After is out. And yep. we'll be covering that. We I will. can't believe that they have Ashley on there and Colt Ugh. and Larissa. Did you Larissa see? looks like she's two seconds away from porn. <laughs> yes. Did you see that? Ashley, one of the clips I saw in the preview, she's in the barber shop with the dude <laughs> Yeah, season. and he's like, you know what? We just had to tell you what's going on. I'm like, the fuck is the barber suddenly like Jay's best friend? What's going oh, on? What is going on? And oh, he's God. yeah, they're all. Then she's telling the barber's like school and her. The whole thing just doesn't make sense. So okay, so we have never for those of you who listen to our 90 Day Fiance recaps. That was our first time watching the show. This will be our first time watching Happily Ever After. I've started season three of Happily Ever After to start catching up on some of the couples, but let us know, hit us up. Like um, if that's the right one to watch, if we should be watching something different to prep for the new season, um, Twitter at escape Two pod or send us a DM. I would Instagram. have rather seen escape reality podcast. Olga and Steven. 
I yeah. or even or even um crazy you know the the guy what's I their guess, faces like, the long hair girl. I think of the point of it, it, when I hear happily ever after. I guess I'm thinking about the couples who made it through and are now continuing, but I don't think that's necessarily the case because like the show I'm watching now, season three, some of the couples aren't even really together, but they're following them. So Jeez. I don't know. It's going to, I mean, and let's, after we're watch Ashley it, and Jay have blatantly lied to everyone, how can they have them on? I know it kind of discredits it, but we'll be watching. It's coming soon. Next yeah, month, right? We'll be watching. April? I'm excited to to get to know Chantel more. Everybody talks oh about my God. her. <laughs> it's good. Oh, Chantel. Yeah. Her family is absolutely nuts. His family's nuts. It's good. It's like it, his family's Dominican or he's Dominican and she's like from Atlanta. It's good. I think they're, they are worth their weight in gold. Just them alone. I'm excited. Um, yeah. So we'll be checking it out. Um, you got anything else for we uh, dive in? Finally, Jessica Simpson gave birth oh, thank God. to baby birdie. It's a cute name. You know, it's it's Hollywood. It's cute. It's sweet. Um, 10 pounds, 13 ounces. So massive. She pushed out, push out an 11 pounder. I mean, that last picture she put up made me so uncomfortable. I was just like, <laughs> she the needs- poor thing. I've never seen a person more just going through more terrible shit pregnant. Like At ever. least the baby came out that big and she wasn't. Right, like, right. It was like on a it was six like a pound baby, pound. and she's got like one still in there for a couple more months. Yeah. It is nuts. I'm but just glad. I, I'm happy for her that she's no longer pregnant. It's That's nice that someone in Hollywood isn't like shows what a real person looks like pregnant, even though it's true. I mean. I, I, but she's so lovable is that a real person like i feel like that's even worse than normal <laughs> no it is it's worse like than normal terrible. but i mean i i mean it's i'm horrifying. trying yeah but she she really i love her so much more than i feel like nick lachey looks at her picture every night and cries because <laughs> vanessa Lachey's nice uh, and all i don't know i think she, they did the right some, thing no they did but she's so lovable I, i'm sure i don't know how you forget about her but yeah yeah she's so cute um before we dive into bravo um we did want to say that we're having an interview with casey from temptation island coming your way after the finale next week of that show um so we got to interview her about all her experiences on the show so if you've been watching temptation island check that out that'll be coming your way yeah most some good behind Wednesday. the scenes info. yeah some good some good tea we got on that interview um so keep your eye out for that and as always, we ask that you rate, review, and subscribe on Apple Podcasts. Shout out to everybody who made us in the top charts for TV and film. Um, we appreciate everybody checking us out and the love. Um, and the so, love. Yeah. Let's dive in with a little oh, real quick, though, Atlanta. Uh, w- yeah. Did you watch the Potomac trailer? Do you care about the Potomac girls? Because I've loved them from, I've always watched them. Uh, yes. The, the trailer looked good it. to me. It looks good. I just, I don't know. I, there's some, I'm, and I know this is our Bravo episode. Something about Housewives is losing me. I oh. don't know. I hope these girls are still fresh. I love Karen. And I think that little Candace brings a little fire this year. I like seeing people screaming at each other in somebody's house and talking about how someone's mom pays for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's her psycho face, Ashley, getting pregnant with this guy? I mean, I just don't even understand. Yeah. It's so nice. at least it seems like there is some drama i right. love karen she's yeah. she's top notch she's nuts getting dropped off at that house and sleeping on the side house i i mean i think it's going to be a good season and okay. it always the third season usually is a fire season for a housewife so hopefully robin i can't I, I can't believe she cut all her hair off i hate it what do you think you like it, it. Oh, you like it or you do like you uh know. no i don't like the blonde i feel like if she made it a different oh, color she'd her hair more short Holly like Berry. That. i don't know i don't like it yeah, she could be. She does have a pretty face, and I yeah, hate her in one. Hold it. Yeah, I hate her in one. Either you know, e- I get you want to be together for the kids, but what the hell's going on after he said under his breath all that nasty stuff? Yeah. I don't know. We'll I have see. passion for these Potomac girls. <laughs> you do. I mean, I, 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 hopefully it's good. I just every time one of these trailers comes out, it looks like it's going to be great, and then we get a fucking Beverly yeah. Hills shithole. And then they have this Katie. House. I think Bullshit. Beverly Hills is done for. I think it's a dead, a dead zone because it's too Hollywood. Yeah, it's they're all act. Yeah. Well, and this girl Katie, I don't know if you ever saw this, but on Twitter yeah, yeah, yeah. she posted a picture of herself. She's pregnant right now. Posted a picture of herself laying, but it was old because she wasn't pregnant. But she was all bloody by the bath, by the toilet, like Ew. laying there with the bath 
like the toilet seat was ripped off or something and she was all bloody and people were calling the cops and the ambulances to make sure she was okay. But I never really heard what happens, but what? she's got like a crazy screw loose. Yeah. This is like really weird Twitterville, but it, it, it really trips me out and I don't know right. why they brought that girl back. I don't think they needed her, but what a gross. All right. <laughs> Real housewives of Atlanta. Let's get into it. Um, yeah, let's see. Nini. Oh man, Nini. I like I this is the first season I've ever seen Nini like really go through something during the show emotionally like this, you know? It's like What is going on? Is Greg rough. really like behind the scenes super duper duper nasty? He I mean, either so I think I think what it is is before he got sick, I think they were probably having issues. And then he got sick and it only got worse. That has to be it. Because like just because somebody gets sick and is a little mean, that shouldn't yeah. be a reason. Because they, you know, it, it. we actually didn't talk about that in Celebrity Gossip. It was announced they got separated. Um, and so it's truthfully, they really are. Supposedly, yeah, which is really sad. Um, I was always rooting for both of them. I don't know. It's kind of Get depressing. your ass in your colostopy bag the fuck out of here. <laughs> right. Get out. He's getting his own place. Um, <laughs> she chucks the IV in the street. Yeah. Get out. I mean, yeah, there's something. I don't know. Because it's not. And I love Nini. And I know a lot of people hate Nini. But like, it's not a great look I don't for think her. she's that cold where she's like, you're sick. Attention's off me. I can't take no, it. No. That's why be I more have to. to it. Yeah. Yeah, right. That's why I'm saying like, I hope there were issues before because it really isn't a good look to like. I wish they could be this upset with a sick person. Yeah. <laughs> you know? like, I know not... you got surgery, but I got inventory to do. Right. So I'll see you later. Right. Um, I love those memes with people like pushing someone up. The <laughs> right. Uh, so oh, the whole episode was it can't surrounded. be like that because she seems so sad. I hope not. The whole episode was about Eva's wedding. Um, her face was beautiful. Eva's makeup was like stunning. Yeah. They really um yeah, but I have it. to say I didn't like either of the dresses. I thought it was too much. Maybe I wanted the second to see one her more than the first one, but But I would just would have loved to see her in like a fitted chic like yes. runway vibe. Like I didn't need two princess gowns. If you're going to do two dresses, give me something different is how I felt. Like, who like is I wanted she? I just wanted a different look. I know. Um I would have liked to see something yeah, something give me some boom boom boom. Right. I don't know. Also, I, the freaking food, $1,000 a person, and they're getting, like, chicken or short ribs. What the, I want crab and lobster. you got to give people filet in it's a venue I mean, like that. Come on. The food, Get man. some lobster from Barbara, okay? <laughs> right. Go to, go to Barbara's house. Steal some lobster. I just think that the food, like, I plated, I don't know. For me, if I was at an opulent wedding, I would prefer food stations to, like, a plated hotel meal. I love you know when I mean? you say opulent. Well, I just, I just want, love like, it. I love that word. And you say it. I just love it. It sounds so I great. want like I want like a, a pasta station, a seafood station. They like, invited too stations. many people. They need to cut that list. And then yep. they could have had a really nice wedding. And 100%. instead, it was just a show. Um, I loved Nini's dress. I thought that was beautiful. The red and the black with the like. Yeah, people back. were saying like that looked like uh, um, what's her face is infinity dress. Le- Leanne's. <laughs> it does look That's like it. Funny, I like. She it, looked great. She looked gorgeous. She looked. Um, yeah, she looked really good. How about Eva's slow motion walk down the aisle? Did you notice like how slow she was she's, going? She's like a Kim Kardashian crier. Like when you're that gorgeous, you just don't cry pretty. Cause oh god. She just. It was too much. Her daughter's adorable. The Super husband cute. seems nice. Cute vows. How about vows Dennis were crying? Sweet. Dennis crying during the ceremony was so adorable to me. Um, I love Dennis. I know I do too. Um, seems like he's doing Portia right, and Portia lo- seems yeah, so happy and carefree. It's nice to see. He's attractive to me. Like I'm into him these days. That hot dog king can be my king any day. <laughs> uh, Nini cries during the ceremony, which was sad, and storms off in dramatic fashion as always. I was watching it driving to work and i was crying and messing my makeup up and it was were sweet you? i i just the, the vows were very sweet i just it caught me like okay. by surprise but yeah it was i was nice. trying to be cynical the dress though i just you're I america's next top model what would tyra yeah. say about that what would agree. nigel barker i didn't like it i didn't like either of them or i what's... agree with you the second one was prettier the second should have been the first and the second dress should have been a fitted like party dress like you yes. don't need all of that 
Where was the third dress that she had to have? Right? She looked happy, though. Like, when oh, they, after she the did. ceremony, oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. they seemed yeah. very in love. Um, yeah. She's really worried about that mother-in-law. I don't yeah. know what goes on there. She wants to impress her really good. How about Shamari getting wasted at the wedding? <laughs> Shamari might be an alcoholic or have a <laughs> bit of a drinking problem. <laughs> I know. So loud. Like, me! I was just like, oh, my God, stop it. I'm it was... here for you. I'm here for you. It's like, can't you read the room, Shamari? Yeah. Well, she's shit face. She can't. And then no. go bringing up Twitter that you bring up that she posted. People are mean when they're sick. What are you dumb, Shamar? Are you going to bring that up to I, her? I know. Also, like I've been at a wedding where one of my friends has been asked to leave <laughs> and I've had to play babysitter. It's a rough position to be in. Oh, so God. Candy, Candy was I really, <laughs> Candy was taking one for the team. Like she really was um, trying. Candy to, she's is like, a solid. Yeah. She's like, you got to get it together, Shamari. Like, did you eat today? It's like, no. It's like, OK, well, that's why Candy is who don't she have is. 15, um, you know, tequilas. It was like, yeah. Jesus, I mean, I good. get you got twins and you're on the loose. I really do get that. I mean, but I've spilled alcohol in a bride's dress i've have you oh i'm a shit show everywhere i go especially i mean i've lifted my dress up my mother and my not my mother-in-law my ex-boyfriend's mm. mom who was close with her, like justine i just saw you lift your ass and show everyone like <laughs> i'm a shit show you know and uh they've had to drop uh, me off after weddings everybody keeps going out because i drink one too many white russians i'm an i am shamari so i can tell you we all have yeah i shouldn't be drinking so oh god yeah i've definitely like we, yeah we got kicked out of a wedding where we had to take our friend home and she ate shit in front of like it was like bay 360 bay windows so everybody and this was like literally <laughs> this was like literally like 8 p.m like it wasn't even that late so it was like bay windows so everybody could see it and she fell into all these plants right outside it was like a complete disaster i was effed up at your wedding but i kept it together but i was oh, yeah. more See, nobody was... oh the best we went to a wedding where at the end this chick <laughs> this is another mom losing it getting wild she had like small kids <laughs> yeah, she... yeah these poor moms <laughs> the end of the wedding so everybody's like kind of wrapping up the centerpieces she was she like had like an insatiable thirst all of a sudden she pulled the plant no the no and, no and started drinking oh out of this like god two foot vase like it was massive she started and every her husband was like horrified he's like no no and she's like pulling it up to her it was good. She must have gotten sick, man, because that shit yeah. probably had a lot of preservatives in it. But and there might be like... some uh, plant food in there or something. Ugh, it was good. Yeah, she didn't oh even care. God. And it had all these like bobbles, girl. all these bobbles at the bottom. You know, <laughs> it's like, it a disaster. You Ugh. do get cooped up with these kids. You lose your mind. You know. Right? Oh my god. Um, Shamari is tiny though, and she needs to so eat. Small. She needs to go to Outback. Before anywhere she goes and just shove some food and that brown bread down real good and get that chopped blue cheese salad they have there that's delicious. Oh, my God. What do you think of uh, the whole conversation between the ladies about the closet thing? Oh, you know what? Someone on Twitter, whoever this person is, is a genius. She said, I bet you that Greg's closet was cleared out. And that's why oh, she didn't want people in there. Now that makes a lot of smart. sense, right? Yes, yes. That could be. That could be it. Yeah. Okay. What else would it be, right? Shout out to that little. Detective. And then she didn't care until it was going to be shown on camera, and that makes a lot of sense. That does make sense. I thought. Um... I mean, I think Nini, like, Nini refusing to apologize at all was, like, hilarious to me because, like, obviously she was a little aggressive, but, like, she didn't yeah. see anything wrong with it. So she doubled down, which I thought was good. She should be apologizing for ripping off a pregnant woman's belt. Well, I, she I, also I, was I need like, to know what happened there, too. Portia was like, you were a little aggressive. She's like, aggressive is the wrong word. I'm like, is it, though? No, <laughs> it's, like, very, with a aggressive capital A. Aggressive is the right word. You ripped a man's t-shirt off his okay. body, Crazy. Nini crazy like it was a piece of paper i've never seen anything like that yeah i'm surprised she's even allowed to still film right nini oh, it just shows you she she's got special treatment yeah yeah she's just like support why doesn't anybody give me support that's what it's about um i need so, love right now yeah it is so, weird to see her be so I, vulnerable. I do feel bad for her but i don't like it i need her to like snap out of it maybe she like, yeah, uh, she's like the Teresa. I don't think they should film without her. I know. I agree. And then Cynthia and Candy in the car. Cynthia's really doubling down that nobody should be in the 
I, Cynthia does have her back, so Nini needs to be a little nicer to her, I think. Yes, she definitely has her back. Um, yeah. I thought it was a nice wedding. It was a, you know. Oh, did pretty. you notice that Mike Hill said he was married twice? Oh, I did not notice that. He said he's married twice before. And then Cynthia saying, oh, I see myself up there. Don't get married, Cynthia. Give it up. I I don't understand. Like, yeah, the it, it, that was also a weird thing. Like, all of a sudden I saw us there. I'm like, what? I don't, no, I don't, know. I I don't see you up there ever. Yeah. Uh, I liked Eva's mom. And the, I love... There's nothing better than getting ready for a wedding. Giving her the hanky was sweet. I thought that was nice. Yeah. I hope they make it. You think they stay married? I think so. They seem they seem legit, right? Yeah, I think so. I yeah. think he's nice. It, yeah. And uh, they have a real cute, cute kids. Uh, did you see the picture of Peter Thomas laying there with that girl mm-hmm. on Instagram? Mm-hmm. Looking like he was in his casket? Yes. He looked dead. Well, also, she looked young. Somebody said he's on his R. Kelly shit. I was like, okay, that's inappropriate. <laughs> he, he, she looked, but, she looked of age, but she's uh, like, maybe yeah, she looked young. He's like fifty, you know. He's... She can buy a scratch off, but she can't buy a bottle of wine. God, right? Oh um, my God. Yeah. Any other thoughts on Atlanta? Um, no, I wish we could have been at the wedding. It looked fun, and yeah. Oh, Eva's dad. Eva does seem nice. She seems sweet to her dad. When her dad made me cry, when her dad said. You know, all my kids are really good, but Eva's good or something like that. It was just sweet because something he had either something happened to him, a stroke or some sort. Did okay. you say that? Yeah. Aww. They did seem sweet. It seemed, yeah, it seemed like a genuine wedding. It she wasn't seemed like, like a, a nice person. It wasn't a Danielle Jersey wedding, you know, it, real emotion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's too bad that it got overshadowed by Nini. <laughs> right. God. Uh, uh, all right. Summer house. Um, we are back to the 4th of July party. I liked Kyle watching the two Jordan and Danielle making out and being like, I have a boner, like wasted. <laughs> oh, so uh, real fast about this Jordan guy. <laughs> I love that too. <laughs> Kyle is so cute. I, he, I do find him fun. I just, yeah, I just don't want to, I don't care about him and his girlfriend's no. relationship. Um, that Hannah Burner was on the Taylor Strucker radio show that I listened to, and they had someone call in. Pretty much everyone thinks Jordan is gay in his life, but he okay, won't good. give it up. And I'm in college, he, you know, the fact, I think he comes from, my my gut instinct He is, comes from a conservative southern town. And he's so scared he's not gonna, of to course. say it, yeah. Yep. But listen, putting on, after the party, he found a random Speedo. Who puts on somebody else's Speedo? Put that on with a bikini top and tucked. He tucked his if dick. If Tyler did that, I'd okay. be like, here's the papers. <laughs> so, it wasn't like he's he's indicating a yeah. few times that he's... He also, there's a, in the preview, says something about he joking tucked. about having a... He did! He taped and tucked. <laughs> he literally tucked. He was like, you have to tuck it. I'm like, what? Uh. But then he jokes in the next episode about a threesome with a guy. So, like, yeah. it's if he's not fluid or on the spec, He's he's on the fluidity he's spectrum. Yeah. And he's just trying to inch his way to where he's comfortable. It's too bad, because he better not marry bad. a woman no. and waste her fucking time. I just don't understand the sexual appeal that uh, Danielle sees with him. It's very weird. It's very weird to me. Yeah. I try to tell myself that this really cute kid in high school who didn't like me back is gay, but, you know, that's what I try to say. So Did this, you- um, I try to tell me, I tell myself that now I'm like, yeah, he didn't kiss me because he's deaf. He's too cute. He's gay for sure. Right, right, I right, think right. that's myself every other month. Um, <laughs> oh, I loved watching Lindsay pour shots into Hannah and Paige's mouth while they they clean Did yeah, you notice yeah. that, that that's a friend of mine um i also am very impressed by the fact that they partied all day and like, cleaned well cleaned then took a nap and went out like that's impressive like that's that like yeah because like, what time day is drinking it? all day if you stop drinking at 6 p.m there's no fucking way i'm going out if i take a nap like i would have yeah. to stay awake drinking I don't, booze like that straight crazy. hard liquor and fire I mean, we're getting old. But they're they're damn, legit professional fun. partiers. But what I'm saying is, like, they're not young. You know what I mean? Right. So it's like it's impressive to me that they're they're still. Uh, I, I loved know, it. Still Lindsay it. is she deserves to be a PR, <laughs> right? Samantha Jones. Um, oh, but the, going back to the the preview for next week, 
I mean, Jordan and Carl, they do look like a nice couple, but it's interesting. He was propositioning Carl to come in and yes. take over, right? Yes. That's weird. And I'd be like, if I was shorty, I'd be like, what about me? You know? Who's shorty? Uh, Blondie. What's his name? Kyle. Sorry. Oh. He's just short um, compared to the other guys. Yeah. I, so... love, I love me some, what's his name? <sighs> Carl. Lindsay rolls back with Everett, um, which who cares? Is that necessary? I don't need a slow motion of them entering the house. Like this is the 4th of July F. Right. I mean, every year. Every year. <laughs> every year. Um, I guess he's got a girlfriend now. I also have to say it's enough with the one chick in the tennis. I don't need like enough. We, we, <laughs> know. we know you were ranked at 15. I thank you. I've, well, I, I just, just like, they keep showing pictures of her. I know. It's like, we get it. I <laughs> understand. You were once very good at tennis. It's like you're it was your 29 life. now. I don't. She says she doesn't have any girl clothes because of tennis. I mean, right. uh, you live in New York City. You worked for Betches. You got clothes. Um. The comment that really got me that Jordan said that was so douchey was when they were talking about Danielle and Paige. And he said Danielle would be the rental oh and Paige God. would be the Lambo. I'm like, what kind of douchey shit is that to say? Like, come on. That's beyond disrespectful That's, that's just rude. gross. Like, you're comparing women to cars? I don't know. And that Hannah said that she was, they all watched the show together last week. And he that's had to, like, awkward. sit there with, and uh-huh, he just stayed quiet. Uh-huh. Awkward. Um, if I was Paige, you'd be like, wow, that's so sweet. Yeah, I'm a Lambo. <laughs> um, Poor Danielle. She's a nice girl. She deserves a nice man. She's growing on me. I, I don't love her all the way. She wouldn't be my first either. lesbian action pick, but I, yeah. I feel bad for her. Well, yeah, the bonfire, it's like she thinks something's happening with her and Jordan, and then she leaves, and he's like, who's your favorite? Well, Paige is here, so Paige, and like pretty much says he has no interest in Danielle, which was kind of gross. His eyes seem like he'll he'll murder you yeah, there's something creepy in the eyes i would agree um how about kyle starting a liquor business did you hear that statistic what a rich fucker that seven out of ten beverages fail in the first year i thought wow, that was that, very that's interesting i'm not surprised right also i love like amanda being like you would think i'd be concerned that my boyfriend who has a drinking problem starting a liquor business it's like yes you <laughs> you, you would no think choice. you would right <laughs> and it's um, ice hard tea and then I think the bubbles is a good idea because I'd love anything carbonated. Do me you? Me too. Oh, yeah, yeah, same. It just turns it up for me. I'm like in, twisted I'm tea in. is nasty though. Never had that. Never had oh, it. Oh, it's I'm disgusting. not super into like the pre-mixed drinks to be honest with you. Like I prefer to make my own cocktails. <laughs> yeah, they come out with some good ones these days. But Kyle's just, what, are your parents just give you checks so you can not get a job and yeah, you just come up with these money. startup money? I don't know. Maybe he's invested well. I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? He um, should be a hair model. Kid's got a great head of hair. Great head of hair. Um, they go back to the Hamptons at the end of the episode. Girls night. Um, all the guys are talking shit about Danielle as she's getting ready upstairs. And they didn't know she was there, which was fun. <laughs> um. Poor Danielle. Have you ever heard of a summer Friday before these kids? No, but it's definitely a New York term, though. A summer Jeez. Friday. I know. I want a summer Friday. It's a rich people term. <laughs> right. It's a Manhattanite term. Yeah. Um, how about pages? The only other thing I have to say about these idiots. Pages list of what she wants in a guy. Like seven <laughs> pages long. It was like, oh my God. I loved it. Gets along with her brother. Loves her family. Loves his family. Takes think, her to breakfast. Thinks she's hilarious. <laughs> sleeps Sleep. with the window open. Right. Sleeps it's... with the window open. I mean, come on. It's smarter than her. God. I don't want someone smarter than me. I also liked uh, Lindsay's response. Once you're in your 30s, it's like, does his dick work? <laughs> <It's> like- <laughs> I loved Hannah, though. She was like, maybe, did you see that diss to Lindsay? She was like, yeah, maybe if I was in her situation in the 30s, I would be trying to watch you yes. flirt or something. Yep. Like, oh, you go, girl. Ugh. I mean, also, like, do we really need to age shame people who are single in their 30s? Like, I feel like that's a little, yeah, like, but th- come on. I think, but that, uh, that, uh, what's her face just as she just says condescending snarky bitchy remarks who Lindsay? oh yeah yeah i mean i think in her really yeah she isn't one to talk about relationships but i don't like age shaming somebody for being single at 30 yeah i mean i'm in my 30s i mean what we rushing for she's still got plenty of time 
you know, I was talking to my friend the other day about this and she was saying like my advice for anybody would be not to be in a serious relationship between 18 and 25. Oh, yeah. I think it's so true because that is like the age where not only are you wasting your time because 90 percent of the time those don't go anywhere, but also the trauma you can experience from like people cheating on you and all this shit at that age. It's a total waste. You should be single. Yeah, you can have like dick. You can have a good time. (laughs) You can take in numbers, but you can. I think yeah, just have fun. You can have a casual relationship, but right? But not like one where it's like like, we're gonna be together forever. It's like one in one thousand that that ever works out. Nightmare, and it's so young. Like Paige has this idea because her parents met when they were seventeen that she should have. Shit doesn't happen anymore. Yeah, your parents are. They're in the your, DMs. Your parents at home true. hating each other, yelling at each other, sleeping in separate bedrooms. <laughs> uh, anything else on those idiots? Um, I just felt bad that Danielle was like, I missed the train and I could have been with Jordan before we went I out. Know. God, I just hate meanwhile. guys. I know. They're the worst. It's really sad. <sighs> okay. um, but those cocktails looked really delicious. They did. And made me want to like go out fun. and pound like just a couple like nice <laughs> yes. cocktails. You know? But give me the martinis. I'll take the Vivian yep. too. Yes. I liked um, how the producers showed Lindsay's anxiety of having to tell poor Danielle. Like, and Lindsay's like, Danielle, we got something to say. Said it He's immediately a, the second he yeah. sat down. Yeah, That's a good, good friend. It's yeah. hard, Definitely but it is good to. It. Yeah, for sure. All right. Um, Let's move on to Vanderpump. Um, Oh, the episode where Lala lost it. That's what we'll call this one. So you saw she went on Instagram um, saying that she's an alcoholic and like that she's working the steps of AA. I'm sure sure Emmett Smith had something to say about that too. Emmett Smith. Uh, I feel like he's controlling her like Wendy Williams. I really don't think she has a mind of her own anymore. Yeah, no, it's, it's, I mean, she was, it was aggressive. She went on like a hate rant against people at first, which probably she would hate this podcast <laughs> about people like talking shit. And then she like went into this whole, like the next day was like, hello, um, I'm in a much better place. And I would like everyone to know I'm an alcoholic. I was like, what? Yeah. Um, I like Lala, but she's, I've been turning on her because she treats Raquel like she was in love with James. I think... I enjoy watching Lala read people. Like, I think it's very entertaining to watch her flip out because, like, she's very good at it. Like, the the things she says and the words she uses are great. But, like, I feel like her, her anger is unwarranted, you know? Yeah, it's, like, and displaced. it's never someone that will meet her match. Talk no. shit like that to Ariana. I want to see what happens. Oh, that would be good. Right? Yeah, I would love to I see I wish that. Ariana would speak her piece, too. She says a lot of shit after the fact well because like because lala said some stuff where it was like a little well a i gotta shout out that j-lo dress she was rocking like <laughs> that, that was good like where do you on, get that i don't i mean i'm assuming what's his face got it for right i think it was the dress like was it, it was the, the dress i think so oh yeah. my god um you can't be wearing that to host it sir what a no, joke no no um anywhere said, it's a luxury being friends with me which was like what what is it? that's like it's she's kind of out of her mind lately yeah. yeah and and it seemed like britney was kind of like rolling her eyes at her at that point yes. was sick of it um i mean the line of the episode for sure was calling raquel a bambi-eyed bitch which i thought was just <laughs> it's a compliment classic <laughs> Uh, yeah, your tweet really got some traction there. At yeah. Escape Two Pod on Twitter. I think Twitter that is the sweetest thing ever. I mean, I'd like to look like Bambi. She's always yeah. like, isn't she always? It's a she. Yes, always yeah. like fluttering. Dead her Bambi. Sorry for the spoiler alert. <laughs> oh, speaking of dead Disney characters, are you going to see the the Dumbo? Dumbo? Oh, does Dumbo end up dead? I don't know. Well, I my kid remember... wants to watch it, but <laughs> well, I was like, tell my mom, I, I go, I think Dumbo... Dumbo's going to be dead at the end. I don't think we should go. <laughs> Dumbo, to me, was one of the most traumatic children's movies. I don't remember what happened. Just I remember being very sad. Like, it's a very yeah. sad movie because I... it's like about a guy trapped. Yes. A, a, an I don't go to the circus. circus. My kids are not going to the circus. Right. Makes me sad to even. We live at the San Diego Zoo. Wait. and That makes me sad. So you let you let Warner see the the live action <laughs> jungle book where they like murder their friends <laughs> and the terrible free. the terrible Jurassic Park where you're drawing the line at Dumbo. Huh? No, I'll watch Jump Dumbo, but it looks sad to me. It looks, it looks sad. dark. 
It does look dark. I would yeah. Agree <laughs> that Jungle Book, man. I couldn't believe how dark it got. Poor thing. Probably uh. pissing himself right now over it. <laughs> My God. Oh, God. Where were we with this, though? Um, With Bambi. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. See, my eyes, I truly believe that Lala is jealous of Raquel in a way. You do? I don't know yeah, what it's about. I do. See, I don't think it's about Raquel at all. To me, it's like she is carrying on a lot of anger about a lot of shit, and like Raquel's the easiest person to rant on. That's yeah. the vibe I got. I don't know. I don't think too. she's jealous of her. I think she's just like, she, she like is raging. And so she's just raging right at whoever is the easiest like the easiest target and that's Raquel that's and Raquel helpful. was I guess talking shit before right. Raquel should keep her mouth shut and not say agree. anything my god right. is she well, and dumb? especially to like Lala's friend like what the fuck are you about doing about the dad is oh she my dumb? god like, come on. <laughs> and then but my thing is I feel like Raquel I don't know if she's had a lot of work done but to me Lala looks like Raquel after she's paid to look like Raquel hmm. um I thought that when she said to her, I don't think I'm better than you, but I'm above you. I was like, that's that's like the uh, Kelly, ben Kelly Ben Simone, <laughs> right? It's like the same kind of thing. Also, the most aggressive thing I think Lala said was when she was like, get out of here, James, before I peel your face off your head. I was like, what? <laughs> like, it was very, very aggressive. The poor thing. She losing her father was that. No, is it's a lot for her. I feel bad for her. It is a lot. I mean, I think that. um she obviously hasn't dealt with it and it's like fucking her up. I would love to see Raquel like grab that finger and snatch it and be like she and go never. snap. It'd be great. She's, she's too much of a pussy. I just that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like I, I think Lala knew she could talk to her like that and get away with it. Yeah. I like. Um, yeah, you're right. I like Billy Lee getting like Lala. You got I Billy Lee was winning me over then. I, I was laughing at her like you got to get out of here. Lala, your dress is 1995. <laughs> I liked that. It definitely wasn't 95. That was early 2000s. She looked good. It, it was pretty. I mean, I, I would wear that on vacation. I'm not wearing that to work. Like, yeah. it's not a work appropriate. You would outfit. look really good in that. You give off a very J-Lo vibe. I see pictures of you and I'm like, oh my God, Geneva looks so sexual. You see pictures of me? Oh my God. And I'm like, God, she looks like J-Lo. You do give off that. You would <laughs> look good nice. in that dress. That dress would look good on you. I, I, I like it. I'm just saying it's not work appropriate. No, but you should um, get it. I'm going to okay. call Emmett. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to call it. Randall Emmett. I keep calling him Emmett. Yeah, I'm going to call Rand. <laughs> oh, because what's his last name? I think Emmett. Emmett. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and so you've made it into Emmett Smith. Okay. <laughs> he wishes um, he was Emmett Smith. I fast forwarded through the Britney doctor's appointment, but I oh. just have to say that I love how the doctor told her not to drink or eat spicy foods, and she's like, "But I'm going to Mexico." <laughs> it's like, oh my god, she has an ulcer because she's married to a sc- she's getting married to a scumbag, and she's got stress that she she's doesn't even know. It. 100%, 100%. Right, hundred percent, hundred percent. God, like hello, ulcers don't just happen. There's something going on there, honey. I think it's time. Enough about the Mexico talk. Let's just send these idiots to Mexico. God, it's time get to them like, there. Let's, let's go. And so we have another. We have a whole another eat? episode. I think. No way. I'm gonna. Yeah, because a... it's the Tom Tom party, and then they go. Oh, to Mexico. who gives a shit about Tom Tom anymore? Burn that place down. <laughs> That's aggressive. Oh my <laughs> god! I'm done with it. Oh, that's funny. And 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 what's her face? Katie's out on Instagram saying, "I'm gonna lose weight." And in the past three years, I've been unlovable because I'm fat. It's like you're not fucking fat. You live around a bunch of skinny ass bitches, and it's rude to sit there and say how heavy you are when you're Agreed. skinnier than most of America. So true. Most of America's obese. Give me um, a break. You're yeah. tiny. I saw you naked getting spray tanned. You looked like a size six. Give yeah. me a break. Agreed. Agreed. Any other thoughts on these fools? Uh, stupid Kristen and the stage. The show is becoming staged. They could learn mm-hmm. something from Summer House. Agreed. Um, all right. Let's 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 just rant if there's anything. Okay. So Beverly Hills, again, I'm over it. I don't care about the dog. I literally wrote next to the notes I took in giant letters, who cares? Because that's how I feel about this season. I don't care. And No. They're wasting a couple good characters to me, which is Lisa Renna, Erica... Yep. And Denise. Those three are being lost in this bullshit. Um, and even Dorit. I like the Dorit-Erica mm-hmm. friendship. See, I could care less about that, too, because it feels like, to me, it's come out of nowhere, and I don't really get it. I know. I know. Um, it is. And Erica's... But what's with Barbie Blank being up there from WAGS? Yeah, you WWE? saw that? I know. Um, Denise, though, like, is just... 
I, I love Denise. I think this, if you had just given me a Denise Richards show about her life in Malibu and getting married in a week, I would have watched that every day. Yeah. Like, cause she just seems so like, I just love how she's like, people may say I'm crazy for getting married in a week, but like, I don't really give a shit. Cause people thought I'm crazy all the time. It's like, you know, she's just very self-aware, self-deprecating. I enjoy her a lot. I, I oh, really obsessed. like her. I could just watch her go shopping for porta potties. Fuck everyone else. I love her. And her and the husband or Aaron, I like how they like dress alike. Like they both show up to that meal in like black leather and like jeans and then they're were they hammered. they baked or drunk? I don't know. I, I, I think they were drunk. I, I just I love her. She's like, so why do you want to marry him? Uh, he just has a very big penis. And then she went on to say like <laughs> penis like 15 times pounded salad with her hands. I thought it was great. I don't even know what was happening. I loved it. And LVP is like, she's eating with her hands. And I hate how LVP has to like say, shut up. Denise, no, you shut the fuck up, LVP. Right. Don't tell me to shut up. I just, I I really like Denise. That's the only part about the show that I found enjoyable at all. The rest yeah. of it, I could care less. That I was so it. fun. I wish we could just watch them go mm-hmm. around. Yeah, I, th- I was thinking the same thing. I, they should have just made the show surrounded by Denise and her wedding. Agreed. Well, I, you can't I just... tell me that Andy Cohen watched this and thought, oh, yeah, this is great. Right. I was thinking the same thing because remember, like, he was like, this season is unbelievable. Blah, 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 blah. It's like, there's no way that you can find this shit entertaining. Like, there's, you saw Bethany went on a huge rant on Instagram and Twitter, which I thought was amazing, about how dumb all of this is. And it is dumb. No one cares. I haven't found one person who finds this good. And Andy Cohen brags that Bravo has the highest educated audience. Well, you can't get anything biased because we all... Pretty much everyone is noticing that it is a bunch of bullshit. It's just so stupid. It's so stupid. And like, if I was in the production room and I had half a fucking brain, I'd be sitting here like, guys, this isn't going to work. I'd be Who's going to want to watch? Who, who wants to watch this? Everybody having 12 conversations about who told who and text messages and multiple Johns and a fucking dog. No one cares. This dog it. that didn't bite anyone. That's sweet as pie. And... Teddy, who does seem, comes off like a liar no matter what. LVP is going to come off somehow. I, somehow I'm on her side now. I don't even know. I, don't, I hate I don't Teddy. Really care. I don't care who's side. I'm not I on anybody's watching side. Camille. I'm on the side of this I watched Camille. I watched, I watched, I liked, I liked hearing Camille. I liked them flashing back to her. Because I, I remember taking a seat back like when she was like, well, we don't say that he hits you, that he beats you. Mm-hmm. Do you remember that? Do you remember, yeah. I, like I was like at the time I was like holy shit she's saying this, and then Lisa Vanderpump they set it up. It's I mean like, I, damn, enjoyed, I enjoyed I enjoyed that, but yeah. like it's just I, I enjoyed that, was that reveal. But yeah. again, it just shows you the difference of when the show was actually fucking good. Yeah. Now yeah. it's like now the big reveal is a dog. Like, uh, <laughs> come it's on, the show's the show's ruined, and uh, it's terrible. It was yeah, Erica directing the photo shoot that was, was odd, great but it was I, I liked it it was fun she but... really had opinions also wasn't there already a creative director there is what i thought <laughs> and erica's like we're selling ass not selling cookies feet together ladies like I, she was fully we need a tv show like that yeah i would see that's what i'm saying like these women's talents are being put to waste with all this yeah. trash i just like it's a waste of time oh and we won't waste any more time on it so on that note we're moving Two Real Housewives in New York, which was good. <laughs> Look at all the TV we watch. I know. We need a life. God. Um, New York, we're back to the clam bake. Um, I loved Bethany. Ramona wouldn't miss this. There's free clams. Um, <laughs> just like so true. Uh, we get the reveal that Dennis proposed to her in April. Do you saw that ring? It's, it's ridiculous. It's like Jesus. a J-Lo ring huge it's too much but the way that bethany described the proposal was weird it's such like, a bethany proposal like so bethany i mean i get it though because she's still getting divorced or something or it's final final i don't it's just like she's probably traumatized i bet i wonder if part of her puts this out on the show just to f, f with him uh, with the Maybe. ex-husband or god. i don't know he turned into a real psycho huh? oh my god um he did yeah. have murderer eyes now thinking back. <laughs> he kind of did. Um, and he grew up in that house and it was sad because the sibling died or something. Oh, God. It was a dark house out there in Pe- Pennsylvania. 
Pencil Turkey. Ramona um, over by the clams. They're all pounding clams. She's talking shit about Luann. I like how she said. <laughs> Standing eating the clams. That's a feat, right? Right? What, also, what was that little like clam tool they had? I'd never seen that. Wow. That they were That's like a eating Hampton the clams shit with? for you. God, right? I was like, I usually just use a fork. I don't know what this <laughs> I is. I gotta sit down for that looked good though i loved I, I just delicious. love see that's why i like i really feel like maybe like sonia and like had an edible or something like the way she was pounding those clams it's like, like she could she was on less. something yeah i think so yeah um she took a little capsule of thc for sure something right ramona before luann got help she was drinking all the time she was like all i'm saying is like before she got help she was drinking all the time it's like no shit so if somebody goes to rehab um, yeah, I loved how Sonia was like, "Did you go over there and apologize?" And she's like, "I texted her." She's like, "No, now do it now." Did you catch yeah, that? Yeah, that was how good. passionate it's like. Uh, Sonia is her Olivia Pope, and she's just walking <laughs> trying around to trying clean to up. clean up Ramona's messes. So true. She's a nut. She is. Uh, Bethany says she's going on a date, which again didn't he die like three weeks ago? Seems a little early to be dating, especially if they were engaged. Thought that is was Bethany weird. a hornball or what's going on there? I don't know. I mean, I guess like she's saying, we'll see. Because like I thought they weren't schedule together. Schedule up, I guess. Yeah. That's what she said. Weird. Um, I know. And then he was still married. Yeah, I don't. Know. There's a lot of it that's a little sketchy to me. Yeah. Um, and then we get to the best part of the episode, just them packing up the lobster after 30 minutes, taking plates of food to go. Um, I loved, I loved Sonia killed me when she's like packing up the lobster. She's like, uh, are we not getting steak? And she like goes to Tinsley. She's like, do you eat meat? I mean, we need a steak plate. It was like, what? And she tells Barbara they set a timer for yes. 30 minutes. <laughs> Like, it's so rude. All of it. That's like so low class. Like that whole situation was just like really bizarre to me i mean the way that ramona's taking the plates of lobster and stuffing it into the bag that she brought gifts in it was the same bag she like emptied it and then <laughs> filled it with lobster it just like, plain old lobster God. not even wrapping the lobster up no She's dumping a whole lobster into a plastic bag easy it's like on its third oh, use oh my god right and you know that back oh my god it was that was all and time it's got dog hair in there she's just dumping lobster in there <laughs> and they're like you're not really you're not taking that are you like tinsley was like we can't take and they're like what yes we asked we can take the food <laughs> barbara like, oh. said take a plate but she didn't think you were leaving right now well also like take a plate and take like seven lobsters and a plate full of steak and clams like well come on <laughs> sonia wanted to fill it up with her dress that dress was cute right the but sonia yeah but, Morgan dress. but a white dress you're like gonna like <laughs> god also her hair i'm like what was happening to her no. hair in that scene it, was it looked like, like it was gonna fall off her head 100 <laughs> it was not good looked it's way a whole fake the wig or no, oh, even at like the party, I, I couldn't I handle it. I don't know. Oh, like, my God. It's like it's to... lifted off the head like it's a, a helmet. I, yeah. I just... Uh, she is really nuts. Um, Ramona, Bethany's impression of Ramona when they left. Did you catch that? Yes. She, that was all time. That was that so was accurate. Hilarious. It was perfect. Perfect. That was so funny. It makes you love Bethany. I think right. she's she's been very likable this season. Yeah, right? I would agree. She's being pleasant, which is nice. And she was so nice to Tinsley. She yes. seems very tickled. And I liked the conversation that Dorinda and Bethany had at the bar for Sonia's party too. Like that seemed genuine. Yes. Um, yeah. Nothing seems staged with these girls. No. Even though it is staged, it's still wild. I think the difference is, like I've said, is like they, they bring them into situations together, right? Like you're going to go here and film, but it's like they can't control what these women do. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like they're not like <laughs> they're just being themselves, which is why it's so entertaining. Um, I said, so where was Jason Hoppy when Dennis died? Because I need to know this. Right. Um. So when they get back to Ramona's and they're all pounding food, I think they were pounding like <laughs> caviar. Like this is what makes me think they were like high. Like the way they were eating was yes. like next level. Even Dorinda um, was like pounding yes. this food. She was not even invited to eat. I know. Um, and then cracking lobster out of some bag. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, so I'm saying you can't be sober and be doing this kind of activity. Like, no, it just it's seem... cold lobster at this point. You're <laughs> popping it in the microwave. The whole thing is really wild, but the, it comes off charming to me with Sonia, but rude with Durin or yes, rude with Ramona somehow. I don't know how. <laughs> I would agree. But Sonia is okay. Yeah. With... Um, 
so then Ramona says a real asshole comment that she then apologized for on Twitter. Oh my god! How smart can Dennis be? He was on drugs. Um, and then what I loved is right it's after that, she goes, she goes, we shouldn't, we, I mean, I don't want to talk about Dennis and, and be negative. It was like, what you literally, and you saw Sonia's face. Sonia was like, are you kidding? Like, I don't understand how this is happening. That was fucked up. Even um, Sonia knows what a psychopath she is. Oh, her face was classic. She was just staring at her. Like, you did not just say that. That's going to come back to bite Ramona in the oh, ass. So 100%. hardcore. That was not good. Um, Dorinda's going to eat. I mean, Bethany's going to eat her for dinner for that comment. I also loved, I don't know where Luann said this. I think in her apartment as she was getting settled. Nine months ago, I was in jail. Now I'm a cabaret star. <laughs> I'm like, it's like, so good. I like um, uh, Luann all pissy too. It's fun. Yeah. She's full of attitude. Um, Bethany's. Her, oh, what? What were you oh, going to say? Are her and Dorinda ever going to I wonder. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, if Dorinda's not going to admit the heckling of the Giovanni, which is an all-time meme, how can you not? You can't just be like, you know what? You're right. I was heckling. Like, yeah. that's that's the definition of heckling, I think. Yelling at someone repeatedly. How <laughs> like, can you watch this? Um, that. Shout out to Bethany doing charity work. It's great. Good yeah, for her. that was nice. It really is. She's That guy looked different. Like, he'd lost a lot of weight or something when he picked her up. Oh, I didn't even but recognize him. I didn't either, but it was the same guy. I thought maybe it wasn't the same guy, but God bless those people that do that. He must just be a very wealthy person who dedicated his life to helping it's great. people. It's great to see and people like that. He is so cool. Yeah. Shout out to whoever that guy is. I don't even know his name, but yeah. Cause, I he mean, should it's be easy. winning on awards. Like, yeah, he should be he on TV. Is. Everyone We're should know his name. And tuned in. we are sitting here talking about other people. <laughs> I know. Assholes. Um, Sonia's party for Paper Magazine. Those those cover shots, my God, um, <laughs> I, that was a lot. The whole look was like the hair. I don't. She don't need all that hair. She does not need the hair. Um, Bethany also did not need that dress. I thought that dress was not doing her any favors. I, just, I like her. Uh, yeah, as a New Yorker, and she she dresses in color. It throws me off. I. I just like it was too much fabric. She's so small, you know. I didn't like it. Yeah, Tinsley's mom rolling in with a tight face. Um, oh, I love Tins and the mom. What a pair! They're so I know. Fun. What a pair. Tinsley's grown on me. I like her. Yeah, no, she's grown on me too. I, I, I. Um, she's cute. I also liked how all of them were like sitting up at that one area, like they were at a table in Vegas, um, and the <laughs> yeah. mom's like right in the middle of it, like just living her best life. It is. It's great. I liked Ramona's black leather dress. That back was saucy. God damn. She's um, nuts. Ramona just, hi, Luann. Hi, Ramona. Hi, Luann. Ramona's just <laughs> mentally ill. And it's so great. It's, it is really fantastic. There's nobody like Ramona. She's just like completely off her rocker. <laughs> But like completely think she's in a rocker. You know and what I mean? People, That's what makes yeah. the best part of it. It's like she thinks she's being authentic. And it's like you're such a wacko. And uh, I've heard multiple people say that she doesn't remember you. Like she'll meet you and <laughs> I you can, can meet totally her 15 times and she'll say, oh, nice to meet you. And I think she's, she's done that on so the show rude. before. Yeah, that she's Barbara like, chick. Yes. She did that too. And she's nuts. Yeah, that's good. What do you think about Barbara's involvement in Luann? Like it seems like she's a little overly concerned. Yeah, like unless little, they were like really tight and we didn't know it, or it's, it's a little next level. Yeah, is she she's got no skin in this game, <laughs> right? I love um, dinner and just coming out wild. Quiet down, Barbara. You don't got any skin in this game. She's just the best gangster on the block. I know, right? And that leopard, she looked great. That was a great leopard dress. Better than Sonia's like house robe. It looked like Sonia was wearing a robe that was a dress, right? I, I put like, that Sonia looked like a cracked out seventies porn star. <laughs> that's very accurate. That's and then she's making out with somebody next week. That yeah, is her. That's good. God, Can't she's wait. wild. Um, I think and it was Dorinda, just a stranger that comes up to her and starts making out. It seems I like, liked it. and she goes in for it. Yep. That's the that's the thing. These chicks. They're the best. They are. You just can't. The difference between watching an episode of this and watching an episode of Beverly Hills is like night and day. Because I I am like, I am intimately connected to any conversation. Like any conversation they have, I'm in. I'm going to watch every second because they're going to throw shade and just say ridiculous shit to each other. You know? Yeah. It's like a completely different experience. And it's really nice that they cast these girls on here, but get rid of them real quick when they don't work out. Like the 
the girl who cooked the fork in the food or Cindy yep. Barber shop or it feels like we've had Dorinda from the beginning. Totally. Barbara, I don't I don't know how I feel about her yet. Seems like she could be a good fit on Jersey. Yeah, I don't I again, I just don't think this cast needs anybody else. It really doesn't. Yeah. Like I just think it's perfect the way it is. You don't need anything. They're all crazy in their own way. Um, so why mess with it? I mean, it's fine if she's a friend, but she doesn't need to be there full time. It is interesting how some people do come in, like even the OCs were ru- ru- ruined, but like a Shannon Bedore, Dorinda. Yeah. And they really do fit. Yep. Yeah, it's true. Well, that's the power of good casting. Yeah. Um, yeah. Dorinda's yeah. nuts. She is. Any other thoughts on these, uh, these ladies? John, the, the cleaner. Yep. Like Dorinda will say year and year again, like he's her consolation prize and he's right there with her. I know. Also, like when he arrived at the party, he was like, nice to see you. She's like, nice to see you, too. It's like, what? Aren't you guys like in a relationship? I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> I thought it meant they broke up. Right? It was like a very informal greeting. I don't know. It was weird or formal. Uh, it's like maybe just when she's filming, she brings him along. I- I'm attracted to him nowadays, though. Oh I don't God. know why. <laughs> You're such a mess. I don't. <laughs> he seems so lovable to me now. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You have you bad judgment other than your husband who's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, general. that's it. Sell out for we'll see oh, God. when uh, when the report for Gone Girl comes out. <laughs> uh, on that note, I think that's all we got for Bravo. Um, we will be. Oh, as- oh really quick, I just had yes. to talk about Kristen Cavallari's show. If anybody's out there watching. When you didn't, you're done watching Geneva. You haven't watched yeah. in weeks. No, I haven't okay. watched this season. She's got this empire supposedly. She doesn't seem like she knows what's going on. Things are being shipped that are empty boxes. Go to work, Kristen. I, I guess she's just never there. I, I mean, what else do you got to do? You got this great opportunity. Seems like you should be just be there watching what people are doing. Mm. And Jay Cutler is very lovable. I don't know how he's become so lovable. They seem like they have a really nice house and she acts like she can't be a bitch to these employees, but yet you were like known to be the bitch. So it's just kind of irritating, but I do watch the show. I don't know why I still can't drop it, but I don't know. For some reason, when the second season started, I put on the first episode and she's 95 pounds and looks just sickly. I can't watch it. She does need to eat. She needs she's like to be healthy. Thin. Yeah, she I know, and it does not look good. Right? Maybe I eat too many carbs. I don't know. But then they fired the redhead. Oh, okay. She's off the show. Yeah, she, she was just, entertaining. She just needs she needs some meat on her bones. It makes me uncomfortable. But I, I just like this company is very successful. It just doesn't seem like she's running it. I, I don't know. So that was it. I just had to get that off my chest. You feel better? Yeah. Good. All right. <laughs> um, we'll be, uh, like we said, we'll be dropping a Temptation Island interview with Casey from one of the most hot mess couples on Temptation Island. Um, Casey, yeah, and check it out, people. It was really that'll be coming Wednesday. It was, it was a good interview. Um, so it'll be coming for you Wednesday. And then we'll be back with Bravo as we wait for 90 Day Fiance to return. Woo! Write us a review. Follow us on all the things. We'll talk soon. Bye. Bye.